last week I gave a sneak peek of why I think the NES RGB mod is so awesome. Now let's dig into how big of a picture quality bump you should expect if you decide to go with this mod on your own Nintendo. For those that are new to Retro Tech Select, you can think of these bit-sized videos as halfway between a one cool thing short and a full-on kit review. Now I'm not going to attempt to analyze the mod work done by Voltar, although I do want to take a moment to appreciate just how clean the soldering is. But we are going to do some side-by-side -side comparisons between the RGB output you get with this mod and the stock composite Nintendo gave us out of the box. This console's composite video output looked okay on a CRT and awful on most modern displays, which is why I used an AVS clone console as my primary Nintendo for a very long time. Ultimately, the desire to upgrade the picture quality on both of my displays was enough to get me over the hump on choosing to modify the console, and I'm glad that I finally decided to pull the trigger. Here's a few comparison shots of the original unmodded composite output on the left and the upgraded RGB output on the right. All right, I might overuse the phrase night and day when referring to picture quality, but that really is the best way to describe the jump in PQ that you get with this mod. The upgraded image is just heads and tails better than the composite video that the Nintendo shipped with. Ugly artifacts on pixel borders are gone, and the cloud of dot crawl hanging over the whole image is lifted. And it doesn't just look good when compared to original composite. Here's a look at the NES RGB up against original composite and an AVS. To me, this little toaster can go toe to toe with the clone console for capture clarity, and it still has an ace up its sleeve. Pairing this mod with some HD Retrovision component cables means the Nintendo looks better than ever on an old consumer CRT as well. And that's honestly how I play a lot of my vintage consoles these days. You also get the option to choose between a couple of color profiles, optional expansion audio, and in-game reset. This was the first console I ever had modded, and based on my experience with Foltar's Mod Shop, I'm glad that I finally took the plunge. Let me know in the comments if you're a quote-unquote console purist like I used to be, or if you're more open to hardware modification. I hope you all liked the video, and if so, I'll see you all in the next Retro Tech Select.